Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we will discuss the integrated rate equation for zero order reaction. So first let's see what is meant by zero order reaction. So when the rate of reaction is independent of the concentration of the reactant then it is called as zero order reaction. For example, if A gives product is the zero order reaction, then the rate equation can be written as minus Ra is equal to K, where minus Ra is the rate of reaction and K is the specific reaction rate constant. Hence from this equation, we can see that minus Ra depends only on a specific reaction rate constant and it is independent of concentration as there is no concentration term in the right hand side. Now, let's see the integrated rate equation for the zero order reaction. If the zero order reaction is a gives product, then the rate equation or rate of disappearance of A can be written as minus Ra is equal to K, which can be written as minus dCA by dt is equal to K. Now let's integrate equation 1 within the limit. When t is equal to 0, CA is equal to CA0. And when t is equal to t, CA is equal to CA. For integration, first we rearrange the terms of equation 1. So we get minus dCA is equal to KT. So after integration and applying limit we get CA0 minus CA is equal to KT. This is the integrated rate equation for zero order reaction in terms of concentration. So as we get the integrated rate equation for zero order reaction in terms of concentration. As this equation can also be written as K is equal to CA0 minus CA divided by T. So if we plot CA0 minus CA versus K, we get a straight line passing through origin with a slope equal to k. And from graph and equation 3 we can conclude that specific reaction rate that is k depends on concentration and time. Hence dimension of k is concentration divided by time. Now let's derive integrated rate equation for zero order reaction in terms of conversion. So as we know, integrated rate equation for zero order reaction in terms of concentration as CA0 minus CA which is equal to KT. But as we know, CA is equal to CA0 into 1 minus XA. Which can also be written as CA0 minus CA0 XA. Now let's put value of CA in equation 2, we get. So after putting the values of CA and rearranging the terms we get. CA0 into XA is equal to KT. This is the integrated rate equation for zero order reaction in terms of conversion. So, so that's all about integrated rate equation for zero order reaction. So keep watching. In the next video we will discuss integrated rate equation for first order reaction, second order reaction and third order reaction. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda.